Marshall, we start with you. Uh, it was announced last night at Titan Tuesday that you're going to be the club captain for Rotherham Titans this season. Was it? It was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did it come as a surprise? Yeah, I don't. I think as a player, you never expect um, too much things like that. So when when Blackie asked me how would, how would I feel about being um, captain, at, at first I had to think it over and just see what what it entails and whether it would affect my performance and things like that. But I don't think it will do. So yeah, it was a great honour. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Tom Cruise did say because you'll be not in the squad most of the time, it's not going to impact too much on your game. I think it was done by um, the eldest. I think that's what it was. It was done by date of birth. You're the oldest by miles, aren't you? Um, I wouldn't say by miles, but I think he's not. So anyway, let's not, let's, let's, let's not let Cruise. I think uh, it's six years age difference. <laughs> just <laughs> just <laughs> fair to say, experience played its part. Yeah, definitely. Hey, I've um, I've got a wise head on these young shoulders. I think. I think that that's what swung it. And this is your third season now at Clifton Lane, Marshall. So, what does it mean to you uh, to get the nod to be club captain, following some impressive names down the years? Yeah, I was. It was obviously I was over the moon, and just um, the the sheer place, the the fans, and everything, just to represent the club. <coughs> This club captain is just uh, just fantastic. And just finally, then, Marshall, as, as a result of this new accolade that's been bestowed upon you, will anything change? Does it affect anything? In no, I'll still be training twice a week and um, doing the maintenance on the um, on the place. So yeah, I think things will pretty much stay the same. The the, the plumbing business is not going to suffer. No, obviously, I'm an honorary VP. Work with the boys on a Tuesday, you know, just rattling the pipes. So yeah, I think um, I think things won't, won't won't be affected too much. That's uh, that's a relief to find that out. Thanks for that, Marshall. So uh, Tom Cruise in the centre, Tom Holmes far left there. You two guys have been nominated as potential match day captains. I'll start with you first, Cruise. Uh, what does it mean to you that potentially this season you you're going to be having the armband on, leading the boys? Um, well, it means a lot to me, obviously. Um, I got the honour uh, last year a couple of times as well in the BNI Cup. Um, and obviously, yeah, like I say, it's a massive honour to lead out the boys, uh, especially um, after such a successful year last year. I'm um, looking to, to build on that again this year, so hopefully be uh, leading out a, uh, another successful group of lads. Yeah, we, we know, we, we're lucky at Rotherham that we have a number of leaders on the park. Uh, but what do you think you can bring uh, as a skipper and does that affect your game and how you perform on a Saturday? Um, well the idea is that it doesn't affect my game now. Um, I, uh, I seem to bring a lot of chat, I always get called a, a loud mouth um, a lot but I'm not letting it go to my head and stuff. Um, not on the pitch anyway, I'm starting to get um, a few of the new lads to clean my boots. Rafi's cleaning my boots at the moment um, and then after he's done it for a week I'll just see who I'll pick next. So I suppose being captain does have its benefits? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I think, to be honest, the, the captaincy looks like it's just gone on, on body fats, to be honest. Oh, he is, yeah, so. <laughs> well, we'll try and keep going. Thanks, Kurt. No worries, sir. Uh, a bit harsh on you, uh, Tom Holmes, asking you similar sort of questions, but they are pertinent ones. Uh, potentially leading the boys out. Uh, he was here last year, you know, same contract with Rob and Ty. What will it mean to yourself, Tom, uh, with that armband on? Yeah, same thing. It's a, it is another uh, bit of pressure, obviously, on the day. To, you, you feel a bit more personal, uh, personally responsible. But having the warm welcome that I had uh, in the end of last season and how everyone spoke to me uh, since that last game at Abbeydale, you know, it, 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 it means a lot to, to, to try and support their fans. And do you anticipate? Uh, skipping the side that it will have an impact on your game, a positive, negative. No, plan no, dealing I, with I that. try just to play the way I play and talk the way I talk and just don't do anything different. It's, 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 uh, if you start thinking about it too much, it gets the better of you. Plus, I think it's that I'll only be doing it when Kuzi's too tired to talk, so it's just one of those. After the first minute, he'll, be, he'll take over. 
Right, so I won't finish on Marshall. If you're a betting man, Marshall, I'm sure you're not, but if you were, where would your 50p go on one of these boys to your right hand side? Um, I think I'd, I think I'd have to go 25 each way, Tom. <laughs> Thank hey. you. Just Thanks cover, cover all bets. Watch them, uh, watch them splinters in your backside on that fence. Cheers. Thanks for your time, boys. Cheers. 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 Cheers.